Hey everybody, welcome to Round Twist. It is June 2nd. <laughs> Years buzzing right along of 2010 and we are on episode 42. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to tell you. I don't know if this week's going to be another two-parter or not. I'm kind of deciding that if I have enough to talk about to, co to go into a second part, we'll do that just so I don't feel quite as rushed trying to cram everything into a 10-minute segment. So bear with me here. Um, on the needles, first things first, the second fling sock is coming along. <laughs> I did about mm, maybe 16 or 20 rows on it this weekend while I was at work. Uh, yeah, this one's going to take a while just because I've got other stuff and deadlines and what have you. Um, still the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern. Uh, man, I'm blanking tonight. I'm sorry, I had a three-hour nap attack and just woke up, so yeah. Um, Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern by, I believe it's Erica Loudner. It, it's on Ravelry. Free pattern. Go have fun. Enjoy. Um, Socks the Rock Lightweight in the ST1 colorway, and I'm knitting it on size 2s. I think the next time I knit this, I don't know if it's because I'm getting comfortable with the pattern or what, my gauge is getting looser and the sock is getting bigger. So I think next time I knit the pattern, which I will knit the pattern again, I'm going to go down to uh, US 1.5s, the 2.5 millimeters, and see how that goes, because these are just a little big. It's still wearable, but just slightly loose from where I like them. So those are coming. I'll probably get a lot done in the car on the way out to Estes, honestly. Um, dishcloths, nothing. I'm at the same spot I was last week, so I have not finished the fifth one yet. Uh, and that's because I've worked four out of the last five days, so this is my recovery day. For a second, I have to go back into work. Tomorrow night, tonight, it's after midnight now, obviously, so technically it's the third, it's Thursday, but... Uh, yeah, one more night of work this week. And then my siren song, the shipwreck shawl. This is what I mainly knit on while I was at work this weekend. We had a great group of patients who didn't call a whole lot, didn't need a whole lot, so I got a lot of knitting done on this. Let me get this all straightened out here so I can show you. Obviously bunched up on the needles, but you can see I got quite a bit of the netting done. Wow, that's... A really bare no I guess it's not I'm looking at everything backlit so it looks like there isn't a lot of beads but the beads are, I'm loving the beads loving the beads uh I'm on, ooh, hang on. Yes. saved it I'm on row 130 I just tran 30 or 31 can't remember I just transitioned up to the size 10 needles and I'm loving it. I'm going to have to break the yarn again soon and join more beads because I think I've got, yeah, I've got about two feet of beads left on the current incarnation of it. Uh, love the bead spinner. It works fabulous. I'm loving using the deck of cards. I'm also loving the fact that I can confuse the heck out of my coworkers. Um, so over the weekend, while I was knitting on this, every like a couple times, I had to move beads down, move them down the yarn so I could use them. Uh, sorry, wow, I'm not articulate tonight or anything. Hang on, let me get this back in the bag and then I can talk. Go oh, yeah, in, there we go. Um, but yeah, I had to slide beads down the yarn. Well, when I'm at home, I have my big, big armchair in the living room. That's one of those chair and a halves. And I'll keep the ball of yarn on one side, my shawl on the other, and I'll just slide beads, pulling a bunch of yarn off the ball over into a pile on this side. And then I'll move all the yarn back over to the ball side. And yeah, it, it's a big mess normally and locks me in the chair for 15, 20 minutes while I do that. But it's so much faster at work because we have these big, long hospital hallways. So I put the bag with the shawl in it at one end of the hallway and took the ball of yarn and started walking down the hall on winding yarn as I went, set the ball at the other end, walked back, moved beads. Man, I love confusing coworkers, especially the guys. They just looked at me going, what are you doing? I just very perkily went, I'm moving beads. Okay, Karen, sure. It was great fun. Uh, 
But yeah, I probably got about 15 or 16 rows done while I was at work. A lot of progress. I might actually finish this thing. I've got a week. One week. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I've got a whole weekend off coming up, so I might get it done. Uh, on the wheel. Still working on the blue suede shoes very, very slowly. In fact, I just did a little ball of pre-drafted roving about this big at my, uh, my Stitch and Bitch tonight down at Whole Foods. And, okay, this is how the roving comes. And I know I've showed you guys my drafting technique before, but I want this so much thinner. Um, so I'm dra pre-drafting it a lot thinner than I have been. And it, this whole thing, which probably comes out to about six feet of the pre-drafted roving, started off as about ten inches of this. So I really, really pre-drafted the heck out of it. But it's spinning up great. I love it. I love it muchly. Nice and fine. I didn't even get all the way. I think I started here at Whole Foods and I'm back to here or something like that. I didn't even make it whole, all the way across the thing. But uh, still on the B, 27 and a half to 1 ratio, which isn't even the highest ratio that this can run. The B, I'm loving it now that it's all fixed. It's fabulous. It's wonderful to, it's so much easier to carry and get in and out of my car compared to the Lendrum. I still love my Lendrum. I still love my Lendrum, but in terms of portability, the B wins. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Uh, oh, we got about three minutes. I can probably do at least part of this. Uh, my FO of the week. You might have noticed I didn't mention the Glynis socks because they're done. They're finished. Done, done, done. I think I finished these last Thursday, if I remember right. Wednesday or Thursday. Um, powered through, got all of my, all the foot done. I don't even know which one's the second one, I'll be honest. It must be this one, because that one's all stretched out for me going like this to show them to you. Uh, second sock done. It's the Glynis Pattern by Cookie A. That is in the Sock Innovation book that I'm knitting my way through, and y'all are being lovely and joining me in my crazy. Uh, it's the Volmai's 100% in De Auster, which was an exclusive colorway for the 2008 Spring Fling, but has since been offered on the website. I did go up a needle size from a US 1.5, the 2.5 millimeter, up to a US 2, using the signature double points. Um, mods I did, I did 20 rows of ribbing instead of the 10 or 1 inch, whatever it is the pattern calls for, because I like longer ribbing. Um, I only did seven pattern repeats on the leg, probably because of the longer ribbing. I think if I would have just done the inch, I probably could have gotten two more repeats on the leg and it would have been the same length, but eh, to each their own. That's the beauty, beautiful thing about patterns. They're more guidelines than rules. Love it. Um, leftovers. I had 150 gram skein of this deouster because Claudia from Volmeiser is so generous with her skeins of yarn. I had this huge ball of yarn. I weighed it. Um, it's 66 grams left out of 150 gram skein. I think I used, I weighed the socks and they were, hang on, I wrote it down. 87 grams for the socks for me, for my big clod hopper feet and 66 grams left over. So I have plenty left. I can probably make a pair of shorty socks for my friend Sarah replenish all of the socks, the, the two pairs of socks that she managed to kill over Christmas, over this last winter. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I think that's it on that one. We'll cut it here and moving on to part two. See you guys in a